In order to remove this line right here, your blades must be set close enough. When you first set the blades, test them on the insides of your wrist. If it's too sensitive and it leaves a mark, then you know that the blades are set too sharp. We're going to fully close the lever on the clipper. I've already blended the top of the fade, so the only thing I'm doing is blending out the bottom. I've already balled out the bottom of this fade with the shaver, so this is as close as it can get. You don't have to have multiple trimmers and clippers to get this line out. So now I'm going to gradually open the lever and you see how I'm using my thumb to create tension. This is how you get a nice tight blend. To be honest with you guys, there's really no big secret to doing this. The key is just to make sure that your clippers are set close enough to remove this line. You see how I'm not blending straight up? You need to cut the hair in the way that the hair grows. So I'm cutting against the grain in the direction that the hair grows. Then you can go with the grain to smooth everything together. And to turn every good haircut into a great haircut, gotta finish off with a crispy lineup. 